Hello everyone, this is Chi and welcome back to my art space. In this video, I will unbox, swatch, and make a sample painting from this pocket box set of Vincent van Gogh watercolor paints made by Royal Talents. On this packaging, we can see that these paints are made in Netherlands and you can see the um, colors that comes in this um, watercolor set. On the front of the packaging, it says that you will get 12 colors, but you do get 3 extras, so um, overall you'll get 15 tans um, in this set. Now let's see what's inside this set. I would like to apologize to my subscribers for the very late upload. This is because I have contracted COVID in the middle of July and I'm just slowly getting over it now. You can forget everything about this video but please, please remember COVID is very real and if you have not contracted it, consider yourself very lucky. Sorry about that. Um, back to the review. My very first impression is that this looks like a sturdy box and inside we can see six wells and the free paintbrush. I've read somewhere before that people are complaining that this is a broken brush but actually it's not. It's like it has two parts so you pull the top part and then you attach it on the bottom part like so. And then the bottom part actually has a function. I'll show you the function or the purpose of the bottom of the brush later. Actually, this whole brush looks very promising and it looks like something that I would purchase on its own. I have watched some unboxing of this um, palette before, I think about almost a year ago, and I did not remember that the paints did not come individually wrapped. Um, so I was actually surprised that it comes like this. There's a tab here that you pull off and basically the paints does not have any cover apart from this um, plastic bit here. Uh, it's a bit fiddly to take off to be honest and it's very sticky as well. I don't know if you have noticed but the names of the colors are actually on this um, sticky bit of plastic. So what I did is that I saved it and I actually stuck it on the watercolor paper where I swatched the colors. So again, here's a closer look on what I'm talking about regarding the names of the colors on this plastic bit. So here is the watercolor kit. I'm actually having difficulties taking out this palette. So I read the label again and on here I discovered that one of the purpose of the end of the brush is to use it to lift the palette off easily. So you insert this end in the notch over here and you lift it without any problems. So now you have a separate detachable palette and you can actually use the lid of the kit as well as an extra mixing plate just in case you need it. So um, again, as I've said before, the end of this brush is also used to pry out the pans, the watercolor pans. Um, unfortunately, there are no numbers or codes on this watercolor pans apart from the brand of Royal Talents. Um, at the bottom so it's very important to save that plastic label where the color names of the um, watercolor pans are so again one of the important purposes of the rear end of the brush is to pry out the pans just in case you need to take them out to replace them or to rearrange them in your palette i just want to show you again here is the plastic cover um, that we peeled off the pans and it is also where the names of the colors are listed so what i did is that i stuck it at the back of a watercolor paper which i also used to swatch the colors so that i don't lose it on to swatching the paints. I actually made a mistake on writing that there are only 12 swatch boxes. I forgot that there are three more free. So I just kind of squeezed in three small swatch boxes for the rest of the paints. The paints are quite sticky even without adding water to reactivate it. And when you do add water, it um, it's creamy and it applies on the paper really well. I can see that there's also movement of the pigments when um, applied on wet paper 
um, it kind of reminds me of the White Knight's watercolor paints um, in a good way. On to the most important part, testing the paints by painting. As usual, I have prepared a line art to save time. I am painting on Happy Crafts 100% watercolor paper panel and you can see that the watercolor is applying on this surface really nicely and this is actually one of my favorite colors ever which is called Paints Gray. I don't know if you've seen or noticed it because I have sped up the, um, the painting quite um, a lot but I had troubles with the actual paintbrush it actually um, keeps f separating from each other like the, the if you notice there's that gray smudge on the left hand side of the painting and that is because the other half or the brush half of the um, the brush fell out I don't know if it's because I'm holding it the wrong way or because there's a, a technique for it not to separate and as you can see I even tried just painting with the brush part of the brush but it's so awkward as it's so short I did end up using another brush for the finer details because I don't want to mess up the painting it is a shame really as the actual brush of this um like the actual hair bristles of the brush it's it's really nice to paint with um and it, it's just because it's for me it's not really usable because they keep separating from each other so unless i fix it like tape it up or put some crazy glue so that they wouldn't separate ever but um i won't be able to use it again but then again that defeats the purpose of it being um able to fit in the travel kit or the travel box so aside from my problem with the brush, um, I really don't have any problem with the quality of the paints that it comes with. Maybe with a little bit in the color selection of the included paints. But yeah, um, it's, it's just the brush that's my main issue in this kit. I have also done a little test to see if um, there will be lifting of colors and unfortunately, yes, there are some color lifting happening here. I don't know if it because um, I didn't allow it to dry enough but yes unfortunately the colors lifted surprisingly though it doesn't have a chalky finish or not as visible as I would have thought compared to the other paints that I have which lifted like this um, the Crelando paints so I'd say that the Van Gogh is a step up from the Crelando and maybe on par with the Sacra Koi watercolor set and um, just a little below on the White Knights watercolor set you can see that the paint gray on the Van Gogh is comparable to the paint gray of the Sacra Koi watercolors these are my Mongyo watercolor paints and I can say that they are better than the Van Gogh watercolors um, at least on this comparison anyways and here is my Windsor Newton Cotman set the burnt ambers um, are pretty much comparable but the burnt amber on the Windsor Newton looks much um, darker and more pigmented than the Van Gogh also, if you look at it closely, the Van Gogh and Winston Newton Cotman set pretty much have the same color palette. And here is my Schmincke Horadam watercolor paints. Obviously, they are more pigmented than the Van Gogh and you can compare the ultramarine colors and the Prussian blue, which looks totally different from the two sets. And here is my, my White Knights watercolor paints compared to the Van Gogh. And you can also see that the greens on the White Knights are much better than the greens on the Van Gogh. But I understand that they are not the same grade. And that's my comparison of the Van Gogh watercolor paints to the other watercolor paints that I have on hand. Once again, here's a look at Van Gogh's watercolor pocket box. Uh, may I just remind you to um, keep the plastic that you peel off the paints because it contains the names of the colors of the watercolor pans and um, as you can see I did use the um, mixing wells to um, paint and they, they do stain a bit um, I mean I didn't use any soap to wash it off but they do stain and again here's the brush I would like to say that I really love the brush. Um, actually, I do, but then again, my problem with it separating from the other part 
I mean the um, the bottom part of the brush that was a really big thing for me and um, it was so uncomfortable painting and I was always like on the watch out if it's gonna fall out um, since that it had fallen out in the middle of my painting and potentially damaged the painting it actually affected the flow of my composition because I had to kind of find a way to hide the stain that it made and as you can see as well, I did struggle putting it back into the other half of the brush for storage. So in the end, I had to wet it a bit. I don't know if wetting the brush and not letting it air dry would have some impact on the longevity of the brush. But that's what I had to do to ensure that no hairs or bristles get caught for storage. Um, and that's it. That's the um, Van Gogh watercolor pocket box. And this is the final painting that I made out of it. I've used Campella's handmade watercolor paints for accents in this painting and um, overall I would recommend um, getting a Van Gogh watercolor pocket box set for practice and again maybe for journaling or for just um, everyday sketchbook. Um, the thing is that I don't think it's good enough to make um, commission paints for selling but maybe if you scan the paintings um, because it does look good on the right paper so um i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do please do consider subscribing and hopefully i'll see you on the next one take care out there bye